Joining me now, Republican strategist Katie Packer, Ben LeBolt, former press secretary for Barack Obama's 2012 campaign, and CNN chief political correspondent Dana Bash in New Hampshire. Dana, how surprised were you to hear Iowa's governor, Terry Branstad, tell CNN and announce that he wants to see Ted Cruz defeated in the caucuses? It was rather uncharacteristic for him. It's right. I wasn't surprised to hear that that's how he feels. Uh, he uh, is somebody who is a traditional Iowan, and for most Iowans, uh, particularly in the, uh, the sort of the rural parts of the state, I was there with Ted Cruz. It is a big issue that he doesn't support continuing subsidies for ethanol. In fact, Terry Branstad's son, Eric, has been uh, had been following Ted Cruz around in, a, in an RV uh, to try to convince voters that Ted Cruz is wrong on that issue. So I wasn't surprised that he felt that way. I absolutely was surprised that Terry Branstad said this publicly for all the reasons that Sarah Murray just reported on. He is an iconic figure uh, at this point in the Republican Party in Iowa. He is obviously a, a very long time, long serving governor, uh, but had traditionally stayed out of it. And this just kind of signals to Iowans and to Republicans really close to the caucuses uh, that maybe they should think twice before they go and caucus for Cruz. Ben, you were with Obama when he won Iowa in 2008. So much of this is about timing, and there are Republicans out there who think that maybe Ted Cruz, and look, he could still go on and win the Iowa caucuses, but some people think maybe he peaked a little too early. Well, I, I think that's uh, potentially true. Look, I worked for Howard Dean as well, uh, and uh, some of these endorsements remind me of when Al Gore and others endorsed Dean about a month out from the caucuses, but then Dean ended up collapsing at the end. Cruz has been out front and has become a target, and it looks like Trump may have a late surge of momentum here. Katie, uh, the big question, if this is Sarah Palin, the endorsement coming this evening, and we do not, not know yet that for sure, but if it is, Sarah Palin in a lot of ways paved the way for Donald Trump and Trumpism. Do you think her endorsement would actually win over new voters, or are Palin's fans already with Trump? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think it's really likely that the voters that are Palin-type voters are already with Donald Trump, and it's not going to mean a lot of momentum. I do think a one-two today, like, like Palin and Branstad, is not a good day for Ted Cruz. But, um, you know, I, I, two weeks doesn't seem like a lot of time, but a lot can happen in the next oh, two weeks. Absolutely. Dana, you just interviewed Ohio Governor John Kasich and his family. There are some signs that in New Hampshire, where you are, Kasich is rising? There are. He's gotten some uh, pretty big newspaper endorsements over the past couple of days. And although all of the talk, of course, is what we've been talking about, Cruz and Trump, he is quietly still going from town hall to town hall. I asked him about that and about the fact that with all of this anger and, and frustration at Washington, how and why he's staying so positive. Listen to this. I'm really, really positive. Up till now, you know, the celebrity candidates have, have been the story. Uh, I'm not a celebrity candidate. You know, I also said if I get smoked here, I'm not going to carry on a, a fairy tale. What does smoked mean? It means just like I get beaten badly. Like third? Oh, I, I, I don't, we'll know on the 10th of February. But that's not going to happen. I just, it, unless everything that I know about politics, which is the most important thing, the ground game, unless everything is repealed, uh, we're going to do extremely well here. And I am going to come out of here. And contrary to what some people think, We've got activity in many states now, and I'm very optimistic about, about the future. And that was also an answer, Jake, to a question about the fact that he is saying that the day after a New Hampshire, he needs to be the story in order to keep going, Jake.